when kids start developing an interest, so you're providing kind of a, uh, like you said, a companion or an accountability. What, what does that look like? What is it? How does that work? So I do have time every day that I have Zoom, so students okay. can come and uh, just ask any questions they can, they want, uh, mm -hmm. show us the the things that they're doing, the games that they're playing, the programs that they're doing. So mm -hmm. we have 13 and 14 year olds doing online university courses because of course we don't grade, but also kids that don't wanna take courses, but mm -hmm. want to develop their own skills, like with art or uh, medicine, they, mm. they just want to learn on their own. So I mean, you can, you can still do those explorative things mm -hmm. and appreciate the natural learning that comes along with it. Mm -hmm. And when somebody says, oh, that's great shading, you know, and, and kids who are interested in, in languages, they don't necessarily learn the, you know, what's a preposition. I always right. hit <laughs> right. the public school parents with that when they say, you know, how are they going to learn this and that and the other thing? And I, I say, you know, so what's the last day, time somebody asked you what a preposition was? Right. You learned it <laughs> in public school. What good did it do you through your life? And I right. still have yet to find a person who never said, when am I ever going to use this? Right. Right. <laughs> so, so isolating the acknowledgement of what they're doing right. and not necessarily using school terminology. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. using the alternatives to good job, you know, that's yeah. <laughs> condescending, right? Sometimes. So being able to acknowledge what they're doing as having value right. without applying school terminology, their uh, self-confidence mm -hmm. doesn't evaporate. Right. They'll say, right. Their self-esteem doesn't evaporate. You know, they're being able to acknowledge and appreciate that yes, somebody else sees what they're doing mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. appreciates it for what it is mm. and who they are doing it. Right, right, right. Yeah, and it's really interesting because uh, one of the one of the common experiences that people in a variety of schooling that I you know interview and things like that is that they the confidence the the ability to interact across generations is really uh, different because they Huge. don't have that intimidation around adults. Um, That's right. And they're able to speak up and, and you know, make a point, uh, you know, have an opinion. <laughs> this is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible? is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Burr.